It's time for Fifth House. When we talk about what you're talking about, well, just an hour after news broke that newlyweds Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth are headed for divorce, Miley was spotted kissing Brody Jenner's ex-wife, Caitlin Carter, in Italy. And now some are blaming Miley's attraction to women for the split. Miley considers herself pansexual. She is attracted to people. So, DBL Nation, how would you feel if someone you were dating told you they were pan or bisexual? Would that impact your decision to date them? This is going to get interesting. Yes. Here we go. Jackie from Facebook. Facebook says, I already have a hard enough time making sure women aren't after my man. I'd hate to have to to double that duty. Ooh, go ahead, Jackie. Tell them how you're feeling, girl. Um, but I, I just think of it in a situation for men. Men, obviously, every man fantasizes about having two women, that sort of thing. But when you go into that relationship, you have to understand that a, another woman could give a woman emotional and, and mental support. So you're scared? That one man can't. So you scurred? You not, scurred? I ain't scurred or nothing. So, so what affect you? My mental is just as great as my physical. So wouldn't affect you? Absolutely. It would, not, it would not it affect It shouldn't me, affect you. Because I will, I will emotionally support it her. It should son. not affect you. Thank Good. you. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy from Facebook says, <laughs> I, would I would date someone that's bisexual. People need to start loving people for who they are, not everything they want them to be. Kathy, this goes into whatever floats your boat. We are all individuals. We all kind of look and act the same, but inside we are all wired differently. If you want to find somebody that you just love and you don't care what they look like on the outside, uh, in science we call that their phenotype, uh, then Interesting. yes, whatever. Genotypes what's inside, phenotype like is what you present. It. So if you don't care what's that? on the outside, then wow. have at it. Cool. Use that. Lana, right. Girl, I love I like phenotype. That. Yeah, you should say that. <laughs> say it to a scientist. Lana from Facebook says, if a guy I was dating told me he wasn't straight, all bets are off. He could no longer have male friends either. Oh, Lana, that's quite harsh. That makes me then question, if you're with a gentleman, I presume you are, based on what you just said, um, is he allowed female friends? Because because that's the same thing. Um, I think obviously, if good you're in a point. committed yeah. relationship, you're a commit. You're in a committed relationship. Obviously, everyone chooses to just, you know, have whatever they want, whether it's open, whether it's monogamous, and that's down to them. But I have to ask you the same question: Does your husband or does your boyfriend have female friends? Because it's exactly the same thing. Well mm. said, my dear. William from Facebook says it's like the old saying goes: "Buy now, gay later." Okay, that is a very wow. terrible saying yeah. because. Get I don't even know where to begin with it. I do think that people t treat bisexuality different than um, uh, anybody else that falls under that LGBTQ umbrella. B is bi, it's under that umbrella. Um, I don't understand how people just don't take it seriously. It, it's really disheartening, and um, I, I think in 2019, I'm a little shocked that we're even having this conversation. So, to each your own. If you're bisexual, it's yeah, I not just don't by even choice. like that. It's put it as a negative. Like what? Who? It doesn't matter. I, you know, I it's think not by choice though. We need of to. Of course. People assume because there's such a. I understand that, but this is. A, I know I have to go, but this is an important point. People assume that if you're bisexual, that you're doing it because it's become so sensationalized, sexualized, fantasized over that people don't treat it as someone's real sexuality that they were born with. Right. And we need to get away from that because real people are discriminated against every single day because they're bisexual and instead they're treated like it's some sort of weird sexual fantasy and that they're, they're not really bisexual. They're doing it because it was college. They're doing it because they're experimenting. All of that is not true. It's not factual and it's discriminatory and we need to educate ourselves and move past that. It's not okay.